Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 15. So today we're going to wrap up our training on smart plans by talking about adding, removing, unsubscribing, and viewing who is actually on a smart plan. So a couple of different ways that we can do that. First, if we're inside of our contacts applet and we are viewing a specific contact, we can actually see whether or not they are on a smart plan from within their contact record. So let's open up our fictional character here, my friend Marty McFly. And you can see from inside of Marty's contact record, we actually have this tab on the right hand side that says smart plans. And if we click on it, it will show us the two smart plans that Marty has been subscribed to. That's the monthly neighborhood nurture and the quarterly call plan. If we want to add Marty to future, we talked about how to add to smart plan using this button here within the smart plans tab. And additionally, if we wanted to remove Marty from a smart plan, we can do so inside of the contact record by clicking on the trash can. This would unsubscribe this contact from this specific smart plan. We click on yes, remove, and there you can see Marty has been removed from that smart plan. Small side note, tasks here. We talked about that earlier in the challenge. From the contact record, you can actually see if you have any tasks. And if it's past due, it actually turns red, which is a nice little add-on here inside of tasks from the contact record. So from this tab, again, we can see who is on a smart plan. Um, but in bulk or aggregate, if you come into the smart plans applet, and then you look at the smart plans that you have in your library, you're going to see a column here that says contacts. This is a little eyeball icon and you can see the number of contacts that are on each one of these smart plans. If we click on this eyeball icon, you can see here are the contacts that have been added to this smart plan. And you can see here's Marty McFly on the quarterly call plan. If I wanted to remove Marty from this smart plan, I could click on his name and then confirm remove. It'll say one more time, are you sure? And we would click on remove. Marty has then been removed from the quarterly call plan. And you can see this contact number goes to zero because we now have no one on that smart plan. In addition, if you have multiple contacts on a smart plan, you can click on the eyeball icon and you can choose one by one the ones that you want to remove. Or you can choose select all. Now I realize there is a limitation. I believe it's 20 at a time that would show up. But if you have more than 20, you can also choose to click remove all and it would have all of the contacts removed from that smart plan. So if I clicked on uh, maybe three of these fictional characters, let's say uh, John, Sabrina and Monica are all going to be removed. I can click on confirm remove and it would remove those three contacts from the smart plan as well. So now you can see we are down to four. Do realize though that this number means that you have added them. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are firing. I wanted to show you an example of that. So if we go into smart plans contacts, we can see that four of our contacts are on this smart plan. But let's go into Marge Simpson's actual contact record and we'll see in the timeline view what's happening with her and this smart plan. So if we click on Marge's contact record, you can see right, that we've got her subscribed to several neighborhoods. And if we click on smart plan, we've got the monthly neighborhood nurture assigned and she was added on the 14th, but you can see that it actually has never been executed. And that's typically because the email is not a possible email to actually send out. Obviously you can see we use some fake domain names here with our fake characters. In addition, oftentimes you can see if the email attempted to go out but failed. Here's another example, right? So we started bulky on this smart plan, attempted to fire it. However, you can see that the command email was undelivered because again, we have a fake email here, right? And so in this case, the smart plan was terminated in error. There's no way in bulk to see what smart plan contacts terminated in error, but you do have that available within the actual timeline. And you can see now because we had a fake email, 
Balky is no longer actually on the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. But if we went back into smart plans, you would still see that some of those contacts, even though they've been added to it, are or are not on the list. So don't always use this as a fail safe of saying, oh yeah, they're absolutely on the list. Sometimes they may have been added, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have been firing. So kind of a good best practice is when you're in your contact record, maybe making calls, updating notes, etc. always just kind of check your timeline activity and look for this red envelope. This basically means that an email you attempted to send out, whether it was an email campaign or a smart plan, failed, and it's typically because the email address was not valid. So that's really it for smart plans, guys. Your automation engine inside of KW Command. Highly recommend you check out those eight smart plans that we shared yesterday. Of course, the monthly neighborhood nurture and quarterly call that we did on day 13. Consider creating your own custom smart plan using the elements that we discussed on day 11, um, but I would highly recommend smart plans be a big part of your actual touch campaigns and the way that you use KW Command to create GCI and happy clients through closings in residential real estate. That's it for today, guys. Tomorrow, we're starting a new applet. We're going to dive into referrals with icon down. As always, look forward to talking to you again real soon. Hope you're having a great day.